We are less than 24 hours from the historic mission to Mars. NASA and the United Launch Alliance plan to send the rocket with the Perseverance rover on board tomorrow morning. Launch time is set for 7.50 and today NASA leaders talked about the mission before liftoff. News 6's James Barbero was there and has details. Life may very well still exist on Mars today. The 11th mission, the ninth to be a robotic landing, will be the first with a focus on finding life on Mars, according to NASA. Administrator Jim Bridenstein telling us all the firsts that would make the $2 billion Perseverance rover and Ingenuity helicopter mission NASA's most advanced precursor to humans going to Mars. We're going to take the carbon dioxide atmosphere of Mars and we're going to turn it into oxygen so that when humans get there, we know that we know that we know that we're going to be able to create the oxygen necessary for life support. The rover's drill would collect surface samples and in about six years, a new mission to return those samples to Earth. Right now, the rover and Atlas V rockets stand at launch pad 41. And despite rain on the Space Coast today, NASA is confident the conditions will be good enough tomorrow. I fully anticipate that tomorrow morning we're launching to Mars. The two-hour window opens at 7.50. If it gets scrubbed, NASA has two or three more weeks it can still launch. To make a seven-month interplanetary journey possible, the Earth and Mars have to be in just the right positions in our solar system. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results, News 6. James, thank you. And yesterday at 4, we told you about the two students who helped named NASA's Mars rover and its helicopter. You can watch that interview again right now at clickorlando.com space. It was really good. Those kids are so smart.